Okay. So we're looking at the at the samples domain right here. We have the box right mm -hmm. from here to there. Uh, right now the box is empty. So why don't we start by throwing in uh, a volume renderer to see what that looks like. And Dawn, I think you have that set up already. Yep. Uh, I did. There we go. Okay, so which part is up and down right now? Okay, I already have it oriented. So this is the bottom. So the lake floor would be down here and the structure grew up from the lake floor. Oh, okay, so, so that here is the yeah. uh, the substrate and is growing up this way. And yeah. this uh, the part that we see down here, this bluish white stuff, that's the lake floor? Yeah, that would be sediment, sand, and uh, microbial mat on the lake floor. And then the microbial processes created this stromatolite. Ah, I see. And it's encased in ice in the sample. Um, and so what we do is this whole area around it we've shown as transparent because that's the, the water, the ice. And so we're looking at the mat and the minerals in the mat um, in the sample here. And then uh, little, little blobbies like this one here, uh, is that an artifact from the sampling or is it just some other structure that grew in from the side and was cut off in the core sample? Yeah, that's, that's a little bit of dirt that's caught on the edge of the sample container. So that's an artifact off to the side. And so then that here as well, I guess. Right. So here and here on this side as well. Okay. All right. And uh, how tall is the structure in reality, give or take? So um, we could do a measurement tool. Um, and I can tell you exactly. So if I put a measurement right at the top, going down to the bottom here. Yeah, I'm going to look over your shoulder a bit. To distance. We are at uh, 21 centimeters. Uh, okay. So I'm going to do a clipping plane that's uh, uh, roughly from your view. And um, what you see when you cut away part of the sample is you can see that these, these white areas, they're um, more dense in the CAT scan. And um, that's where calcite uh, formed in the mat um, itself. So they represent the first part of the growth. This, these lines represent where the surface of the stromatolite was. And then you can see these laminations um, going outward that show how the stromatolite grew both outward and upward through time. So this here, that's essentially the skeleton of this growth that we are seeing here, these white parts. Yeah. And, and so one of the things we're really interested in um, is how the different shapes that you see, for example, these long thin areas, Mm -hmm. uh, reflect the microbial growth processes versus the environment changing oh, through time. So essentially, these structures that I'm sketching out right here, these little filamental. Yeah. Uh, I see. There's another one right here. Hmm. Yeah, you did a really good job tracing some of those out. Well, they have very interesting, intricate structures. There's another one that kind of bifurcates right here. Uh -huh. So I'm going to draw in yellow here. And, you know, some of these large ones are connected by the, the, some of the smaller ones that you show bending over. We, we don't know what in the microbial mat makes it grow like that yet, or, mm. or what actually controls where you get the minerals. 